friends today we will be synthesizing acetanilide or n phenyl acetamide it is an organic compound formed by the acetylation of aniline and it was earlier used as a fever medication materials required for the synthesis include 2 ml of aniline and for the acetylating mixture we require 2 ml of acetic acid and 2 ml of acetyl chloride procedure first of all we take 2 ml of aniline in this flat bottom flask into that we will add 2 ml of glacial acetic acid we should be very careful while handling aniline as it is toxic now we will be adding 2 ml of acetyl chloride add the acetyl chloride in small quantities as temperature can rise up while adding it be very careful with acetyl chloride as it fumes in moist air and its vapors are toxic after adding all these together we heat it in a boiling water bath for 5 minutes i have clamped the flat bottom flask into a 250 ml beaker containing boiling water two reasons for not directly heating the compound is that one it is an organic compound and they are flammable the second reason is that the boiling water bath can provide us with a constant temperature now about the acetylation of aniline it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction where aniline the primary amine act as a nucleophile and the acyl group from the acetyl chloride is the electrophile here the hydrogen atom of the amine that is the nh2 group is replaced by the acyl group after 5 minutes we take it off from the boiling water bath and keep it in room temperature to cool here we have the hot solution which is just taken out from the water bath and it has a cherry red color after cooling we can see the crystals of crude acetanilide formed now i add about 20 ml of ice cold water to induce maximum crystallization of acetanilide now we filter the solution to get the crude product now i am washing the flat bottom flask with ice cold water and pouring the solution into the filter paper so that i can collect the organic compound that is stuck on to the flask and this is how the crude acetanilide product appears you can still see the reddish brown color and i washed again with ice cold water and the theory says that we should wash the compound until the solution becomes neutral to the litmus that is to remove the acetic acid and reacted acid from it anyway i just washed four to five times and then you still see the product as impure you can see that red color even now i'm going to purify the product now by recrystallization i will take it into this 100 ml beaker and then i will be adding distilled water into it and i will heat the solution to boil on boiling most of the acetanilide crystals has dissolved but you see some jelly like solid in the bottom i assume it's the unreacted aniline and i removed it now i filter the solution while it is still hot to remove any undissolved substances i just transferred it into a beaker for better extraction of the crystals and on cooling we will be seeing the crystals here you can see the recrystallized acetanilide which is much purer than the previous reddish brown these crystals appear much more white now i will filter the solution and collect the crystals i have recorded a clip on the crystallization of acetanilide with the help of the time lapse mode in my camera that video clip will be the next one to come in this video i also took some of these crystals for looking under the microscope and i have captured some images of the crystalline structure of acetanilide i have also included that in the next clip in this clip you are seeing the crystallization of acetanilide you can see those flake shaped or the sheet shaped crystals of acetanilide being formed 
the image you see on the right side is the microscopic crystals of acetanilide which has the sheet shape arrangement. Okay, now for the final yield, I got about 2.4 grams of acetanilide, which is about 80.4 percentage yield. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the content of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos.